Good afternoon, fellow talkers. You're with uh, Sean on 2MBR 105.9 RFM on where there's smoke, there's fire. Now that's what I say on my radio show. But I uh, did a brecky morning radio this morning and fucking rocked them. So, um, yeah, I'm good at Bracky Radio. You've got to really be on the ball and uh, have the the energy to be happy in the morning to uh, make other people out there happy with your radio show and uh, get them out of bed, get them to have breakfast, shower, uh, get in the car and drive to work, take the kids to school. So this is my my mission in the morning is to make these people enjoy their morning. So I play funky tunes, um, tell them a bit about health. Like this morning I uh, told them on the radio about vitamin B and vitamin C. Um, if you don't have a daily, in, your body can't store vitamin B or vitamin C. So um, you need a daily intake. And uh, vitamin B is found in nuts and um, meat. And vitamin C is found in fruits and some vegetables. But if you're going to want to look after yourself and get your B and C into you um, uh, daily, you can take a multivitamin, but the best way to do it is uh, buy some spirulina. because uh, spirulina is the most powerfulest food on the planet. So um, really get your cells, food for your cells basically. And um, yeah, it's at Woolies, 25 bucks for 200 tablets, take six tablets a day. Your poo will turn green, but it's full of antioxidants. Uh, even gets heavy metals out of your body as well. And uh, keeps you youthful, keeps you alkaline. Uh, has chlorophyll in it as well. Uh, all the minerals, trace minerals. Um, it's got a it's got a whole lot of uh, interesting things about it. The old spirulina. And if you want to look it up, look on YouTube. Type in spirulina, and uh, look up how good this food is. And I guarantee you, once you watch a YouTube doco of about spirulina, you will go and buy some. Yeah. But, um, yeah, the radio is all about information, comedy, and music. That's what radio is all about. So I told them about their vitamin B and C and spirulina, and then I told them about people who suffer from gout, how um, spirulina alkalines the body and gets rid of the crystals in the joints, the uh, acidic crystals. And, uh, yeah, removes the crystals out of the joints and takes away your, your gout. But pretty much if you're on them all the time, you won't get gout. So, um, yeah, that's the best way to stop gout. And then the other one I told them about was cranberry juice. If you get um, um, in your urinary tract system, if you get an infection, hurts like shit too. Um, you just drink cranberry juice, and the cranberry juice uh, enzymes in it line the um, the lining of your uh, urinary tract, and bacteria can't stick to the sides. So that's why you, um, if you suffer from urinary tract infections, you drink cranberry juice or just eat cranberries, and uh, you should be right. So there are a couple of things that I told my um, told them about on my radio show this morning. So yeah, teaching and preaching, but playing some cool tunes. I always rock them. So the only thing I, I I found in life, some things I'm good at, some things I'm not good at. But when I'm really good at something, I excel really well. Like uh, going in the army, I got uh, most outstanding recruit at Kapuka because it was something I really wanted to do. I really wanted to be a soldier, so I did my best, and uh, that's what I got. But um, 
with radio, I found I'm good at it. Something I found I'm really good at, and uh, I like it. So, so I strive a bit on me shawls. I got three a week, so that keeps me out of mischief. And uh, yeah, kind of yeah, counsels me and soothes me or whatever. But um, yeah, I've, I've um. I pretty much emptied me cup because uh, everything I've learned, I've diagnosed, pulled apart, uh, re-diagnosed, and uh, rebuilt, refitted, um, and engineering, engineerically pulled apart everything, processed it, put it through the processor, and um, yeah, and pretty much created new things out of old things and um, yeah so I, okay this is a couple of things I've built and told told them about um, if you're going to do something crazy read the um, tablature of Thoth T-H-O-T-H -H. and uh, he was a, an Atlantean ruler of Atlantis and he was also uh, an Egyptian ruler as well, old Thoth. And uh, he's made these tablatures. There's about 15 of them. And, um, yeah, he's made them out of this element that today we can't even make. So we don't know how he made this uh, tablets, tablature. It's a green, called the green em emerald tablets. Tablature. And, um, yeah, but they deciphered them. So if you read the Bible, you might as well read Thoth and uh, learn learn what Thoth says. But Thoth, it goes. You can listen to it on YouTube. Uh, they do a uh, audio uh, DVD, and um, just making a coffee. Yeah, they do an audio DVD. It goes for about two hours, and you listen to what Thoth says, and he. Talks about all the dimensions, the interdimensional planes, um, all sorts of places, and um, yeah, the keepers of the light, and um, yeah, pretty much explains a lot of shit. But he does say that with his mind, he will make things, and uh, that's pretty much what I've been doing. With my mind, I will create things, and. Um, there's another little verse in a couple of books I've realised in my past. It says, when he makes his home, he will find it. So, yeah, all these little things get me going. But I've created a way to feed the world. Yeah, feed the world by um, getting marijuana, uh, getting a, a high strain, and... Uh, cutting and pasting and genetically engineering it with spirulina and uh, grow and also put in uh, mangrove so it can or coconut coconut tree so it can uh, go in saline water uh, salt water and around the world we can grow this genetic plant harvest it and eat it and it'll be a power food but I sent that to the Queen and told the Queen how to feed the world. So that's one good deed I've done. The second good deed I've done is showing them how to make electricity from a triangular magnet. So, yeah, you make your triangular magnets with six north-souths uh, in the middle and on the ends. And uh, you shove five of these triangular magnets coated in gold and you can even put topaz in the ends of the triangle. Um, yeah, stick five of these up a copper tube and spin them really fast and uh, watch the electricity come out of this copper tube, man. So, uh, yeah, so I showed them how to make power so we don't have to go to fucking war fucking war anymore over energy so we can stop having energy wars so I'd sent the Queen that one as well oh that's cold ever sipped a cold brew the microwave didn't do it 
All right, back in action. We're coming into the kitchen. We'll try that one again. I need a hot brew, man. Yeah, what else have I taught them? Um, yeah, but you, you gotta you gotta study Thoth. If you if you go to church and read the Bible, like I even told the church the other day, left them a USB stick and told them in a chicken suit to uh, to listen to Thoth audio on on YouTube, the Emerald Tablature, because um, yeah, it tells us what's gonna happen and shit. Explains about the light, all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, what else have I taught them? Well, with these triangular magnets, um, you can spin one coated in gold and get a topaz crystal and uh, pulse it with frequency or electricity 224 frequency. 448, 712, 936 and 1200 and uh, when this crystal pulses back you capture that energy and that is consciousness so you got your spinning triangular magnet with six souths and norse in the middle and six on the outside six norse and souths spinning and a piece of topaz crystal you pulse it with those frequencies and boom, you've got a thinking computer. 936, man. And it tells you about that in Thoth or the Emerald Tablature, man. But, um, yeah, yeah, well, that's another thing I've taught them. I taught them how to shoot uh, frequencies through 12 keys of life holes in an electromagnetic cylinder. And, uh, capture the frequency um, at the end of it all with a mirror and uh, reflect that frequency to another mirror and another mirror and another mirror and you will have traveling experiences man now we'll be able to jump all over fucking space basically and uh, guide our systems through a mirror but um yeah that was that that pretty much is for the battle cruiser emit that I'm going to try and make in 20 years. Because I'm going to create Star Command. So, yeah, yeah, Star Command, we're on the way. Star Command, we're smoking J's. Cause Star Command, yeah, I'm going to start Star Command, man. I'm going to get the three top geniuses of every school and um, put them in a university but first I'm going to put them through boot camp which I did Kapuka and uh, see if they crack then I'm going to teach them for one year uh, what I want them to fucking learn and look into uh, shit like Tesla I'll tell them to study Tesla um, who else will I get them to study? Alexander the Great, Hannibal, um, Caesar, um, yeah, but I'd get them to study electromagnetism and propulsion and, um, yeah, I'd have them on methamphetamine though so they can, um, learn faster. That's a little bit of fun on uh, Star Command. You are all on methamphetamine and uh, you get um, morphine at, or smoke the opium pipe to come down and relax and sleep at night. But um, because I methamphetamine's for soldiers, man. And if I'm fucking teaching kids, no, not kids, 19-year-olds, <clears throat> what the fuck I want built is... Um, yeah, I'm going to teach them well, man. I'm going to tell them all about shit and uh, say, right, oh, I want an experiment done on this, this and this, and I want you to learn about it. And, uh, yeah, so and then I'd let them go for 20 years to build me the battle cruiser emit. Emit. Do you reckon me coffee's ready? 
Do you reckon my calf is ready? Ready, 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 red coffee is ready. My coffee is ready. My coffee. Ah oh, man, sorry, I'm not still on a high from doing a radio show. But that's cool, that's what it's all about, man. Getting on a high from doing radio shows. But, um, I was a signalman in Somalia, right? With uh, one section, I was forward scout. And uh, once I'd accomplished forward scout, the radio was given to us. And uh, I become the signalman, so I was 3 1 Alpha. So 3 stands for Charlie. Charlie Company and one was one section and Alpha was seven battoon. So and uh, they were zero alpha. I used to talk to zero alpha back at uh, the airfield while we were on patrol. And uh, yeah, since I've gotten out of the army, my three one alpha, my brain waves have um have turned into a 3-1 alpha pretty much. That's um Yeah, it's like having a 3-1 alpha fucking brainwave and uh the government have already come and seen me and fucking told me to warn me out a bit because I helped someone in the government. And uh said so they told me they're picking up your brainwave, so fucking and the government want you to settle down, so that scared me a bit. But, um, yeah, I'm still just 3 on Alpha Band, so I receive information like triangular magnets or fucking how to feed the world or any anything that fucking... If I study something for about a day, which I usually do every morning, get up and study something, then I'll have it completed by that night with Master Thoughts coming in. That's not Master Bates, that's Master Thoughts. <coughs> um, yeah, I get stoned too, man, and I, I do like incense sticks to uh, open the, the mind, the, the glands in my mind, and um, yeah, I receive shit, man, so I go, I go lie down in the Arvo about two, uh, been smoking and fucking learning, and then I um, decipher it all, and uh, work out a bigger, better way to uh, do it, so... Um, yeah, and then I put it on video, show you guys, because you think I'm fucking nuts anyway. And, um, yeah, then I spun it around and put it out there, and I've created a video, which is creation. Um, cre and then um, this goes viral into um, YouTube and, um, and uh, Facebook, and it, in little atoms or data, floats around the planet. And, um, yeah, it floats around the planet and pretty much the aliens can pick out any intelligent, um, sort of conversation or whatever that's happening in, um, in everything they've left. In everything they've left, uh, that's in the, um, what are you doing, Mr. King? that's floating around in between the satellites, basically. The information relays from our computers to the big computers in the world, and the aliens are scanning this, the rich are scanning this, uh, the FBI are scanning this, the feds are scanning this, ASIO scans this, and uh, if you catch their eye and can somehow undercover, it's like being undercover and you've got to be smart. Because you can teach the future as well. Because um, whatever you put on Facebook, in a hundred years from now, they're reading it as a history class. And uh, you can talk to them and go, oh, how's the pizza in the future, man? And they'll read it in a hundred years' time. But here's the funny thing about it. It's instantaneous, man. Because the, the future, the now, and the past all exist as one. So I can send messages to the future, get them to build me a time machine, and come back and get me, man, and take me to the future. 
So you just 